Agatha Christie was born on September 15, 1890 in Tokyo, United Kingdom. When Agatha May Clarissa Miller was growing up, her parents feared that she was mentally challenged because she was very shy. However, she later showed some positive signs that made her parents dismiss the belief. In 1901, at the age of 11, Agatha lost her father to pneumonia and chronic kidney disease. This occurrence marked the end of her childhood. In 1906, Agatha was sent to a finishing school in Paris, where she became an up-and-coming musician. However, this idea soon faded off and Agatha eventually volunteered to work in a poison dispensary in a local hospital. Her experience at the dispensary informed many of the poisoning experience she wrote in her book, The Pale Horse. During this time, many men proposed marriage to Agatha, but she politely declined them all. Until 1913, when she met with Colonel Archibald Christie. They both lived happily together, and Archibald would always encourage her writing. Her first book, The Mysterious Affair at Styles, which she wrote at a poison dispensary out of boredom, was rejected by six publishers. The seventh publisher kept the book on the shelf for six years until he eventually published it. Only 2,500 copies were sold. In 1926, Agatha lost her mother, and this loss sent Agatha into a deep depression. To worsen her case, Archibald asked Agatha for a divorce. The depression became too much for Agatha to bear that she disappeared for 11 days. She was found in a hotel in Harrogate, registered under her husband's lover's name. Although she claimed amnesia, some conspiracy theorists say that this was a concerted effort to embarrass her husband. Agatha met with her next husband, Max Mallowan, during one of her trips to the Middle East, and on September 11, 1930, both of them got married and remained almost inseparable for the rest of their lives. However, her publishers wouldn't allow her to adopt the name of Mallowan for professional purposes. Agatha published a novel, Curtin, in 1975 and Sleeping Murderer in 1976, the year she died. Based on her request, she was given a small funeral. Before her death, Agatha had written 76 novels, 158 short stories and 15 plays, all of which were marked with her ingenuity and literary flair. All of her books always broke the rules of the mystery. Her detectives broke away from the stereotypes created by Sherlock Holmes and Augustine Dupin. She shattered boundaries no one dared or even thought of crossing. She also reinvented the detective novel. Here is the thing. Everyone gets to a point where the reasonable thing to do is to give up. And most people would do just that. The only people who would never give up are those whose dreams are as important as their lives. As you wake up this morning, one of the best things you can ever do for yourself is to find yourself something worth dying for. If your dream is so important that you're willing to die to achieve it, nothing will stop you from achieving it. The biggest pitfall on your way is the thought of ease. When you start thinking that life should be easy, then you will believe that the obstacles in your way are your enemies. No, those obstacles aren't there because life hates you. They are there because that's what life does. Life doesn't give people success until they are tested with fire. Stella Maeve said things aren't always easy, but you just have to keep going and don't let the small stuff bug you down. Things aren't always easy. If it were easy, to make a million dollars, everyone would have been millionaires. If it were easy to have a great marriage, well, everyone would have been married. If it were easy to achieve any goal, everyone would have made it possible. But it wasn't, and that's why only 3% of people achieve their dreams. The 3% are those who won't give up in the face of rejections, failures, setbacks, and confusion. Dale Carnegie said most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who had kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. We love you.